Amelia Earhart was an American aviator who set many flying records and championed the advancement of women in aviation. She became the first woman to fly solo across the Atlantic Ocean, and the first person to fly solo from Hawaii to the US mainland. During a flight to circumnavigate the globe, Earhart disappeared somewhere over the Pacific in July 1937. Her plane wreckage was never found and she was officially declared lost at sea. Her disappearance was one of the greatest unsolved mysteries of the 20th century. Bones discovered on a Pacific island in 1940 are likely to be those of famed pilot Amelia Earhart. This is according to a US peer-reviewed science journal. Earhart, her plane and her navigator vanished without a trace in 1937 over the Pacific Ocean. Many theories have sought to explain her disappearance, but a new study published in Forensic Anthropology claims these bones prove she died as an island castaway. The report claims they are a 99% match, contradicting an earlier conclusion. The study was first published by the University of Florida and conducted by Professor Richard Jans from the University of Tennessee. It disputes that the remains found on the eastern Pacific island of Nikimaroro, about 1,800 miles southwest of Hawaii, belong to a man, as a researcher had determined in 1941. Earhart was known to have been near the island when she vanished during her doomed attempt to fly across the globe. A British party exploring the island for habitation in 1940 found a human skull, a woman's shoe and navy tool used by navigator Fred Noonan who also vanished and a bottle of herbal liqueur something Earhart was known to carry. There was suspicion at the time that the bones could be the remains of Amelia Earhart. The party found a total of 13 bones, which were then sent to Fiji to be analysed by Dr. D.W. Hoodless, who concluded they belonged to a man. But Dr. Jones argues that because forensic osteology was still in its early stages, Dr. Hoodless probably reached a wrong conclusion. The paper states forensic anthropology was not well developed in the early 20th century. Consulting Dr. Hoodless's measurements of the bones, Dr. Johns used 4DISC, a modern computer program now widely used by forensic anthropologists, to compare them to Earhart's height and body stature. The bones have unfortunately since been lost and so cannot be analysed, but the research team used historical photographs as well as her pilot's and driver's licence to determine that her body proportions match the skeletal remains. A historical seamstress was also consulted to analyse her clothing, including the inseam length and waist circumference of Earhart's trousers. This analysis reveals that Earhart is more similar to the bones than 99% of individuals in a large reference sample. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.